Hi, I'm Skip LaCour, and I am the world's leading manformation expert. I'm a former six-time national champion drug-free bodybuilder, and I am the creator of the Manformation Personal Development Program, specifically designed to help men become their very best, both inside and outside of the gym. Confidence, leadership skills, more certainty in life, help you with that imagination, resourcefulness, and grit that it takes to become your very best. Again, not just in the gym, but outside the gym too. I'm a coach, I'm a speaker, I'm an author, and uh, one thing that I do is I help busy, productive men who are a little bit older make sense out of the seemingly conflicting and confusing fitness information out there. I want to help you become your best both inside and outside of the gym. And I want to uh, use uh, my over 30 years in personal development and my uh, 30 years in bodybuilding and training, uh, that extreme lifestyle, uh, breaking down the strategies, and I want to help you prioritize it in your life. You look so much better than all the other men in your social circles, your friends, family, at work. You're probably the only man who works out. <laughs> at all. So you're in this place all by yourself. You appreciate what you've accomplished. And uh, you're willing to do the work. You're looking all over the internet for information. Uh, the challenge sometimes is you're all by yourself. You really appreciate what you've done. But the frustration is, well, I'm putting in all this work. I think I should get more out of it. I don't necessarily expect to look exactly like those fitness experts. I know that's their profession. They think about it 24-7. They live it. They breathe it. But I should be getting better results. That I'm getting. I know that frustration. I want to help you uh, through that and uh, got a lot of ways to help you do that and uh, in addition to this video. Now there's one thing that I, I talk about a lot in my teaching. There's a couple of organizing principles to everything I teach. One is that uh, no matter how powerful, how uh, disciplined we are, how committed, no matter what we've accomplished in the past, what our references of success are, we only have so much willpower, focus, energy, and of course we know we only have so much time. We only have so much willpower, focus, energy, and time to get it all done. The more you want in life, the more uh, intelligently and uh, elegantly you're going to have to uh, allocate your willpower, focus, energy, and time. They're not unlimited resources. Sometimes guys are really tough on themselves when they can't get it all done. All right? We only have so much and you have to allocate it intelligently and elegantly if you're going to achieve all your goals in life and you're not going to be heavy on uh, one area and do really well there while the other areas suffer. So that's one thing uh, that I, I really want you to think about as you go for your goals both inside and outside of the gym. The other thing I want you to think about too is the 80-20 rule. And if you uh, know about the 80-20 rule, that it's basically in a lot of different areas of life and I find this to be true that Let's just say there's a hundred things that you got to do over the course of your day, over the course of your week, a month to, to get it all done. Maybe that's with your training. Uh, maybe that's with your life, your relationships, right? A hundred things. Uh, do we weigh them all the same? You know, life uh, tends to average out that 20 of those hundred things make the biggest impact. All right, that's what the 80-20 rule is about. Uh, 20 of them give you 80% of the results. And I find that to be true in bodybuilding and training. And uh, as your coach, as your friend, I want to help you uh, figure out what the 20 things are that make the biggest impact so you can put the majority of your willpower, focus, energy, and time into those 20 things and uh, maybe uh, uh, lay off just a little, maybe not quite as much focus on the 80 things that don't matter as much. We, we only have so much willpower, focus, energy, and time. And, and sometimes I know if you're a busy man with a, a productive life and you're getting all the information from the internet and uh, man, you see all these amazing looking, very passionate uh, fitness experts and everything is important. They say you should give 100% to everything or don't do it all. 
And I love that. I respect that passionate attitude, uh, that mindset, because I know what that's like. Uh, I lived it. I breathed it as a 15 straight years of competing, uh, making it my career and profession. I understand that. That's why we admire them so much, right? The challenge is uh, everything can't be important. There's a saying that says, if everything is important, then nothing is. Think about that. If everything is important, then nothing is. What that means is that, okay, let's say everything, scale from 1 to 10, everything. Everything you do is a 10 out of 10 in importance. Well, you know, that's just relative that it's that important, right? I guess everything is a 5 out of 5 or a 5 out of 10. It could be a 1 out of 10, right? If everything is the same, right, because we all apply it differently. If everything is important, then nothing is. We have to be elegant in our approach and choose the right things. Right, again, I want to help you find the 20 things that really matter. I was talking to one of my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients, and uh, he's a little bit older. He's got a busy schedule, and, and he's dedicated. Maybe this is you. Uh, uh, he's willing uh, to look at all the YouTube and Facebook and Instagram from all the fitness experts and taking that information. And he was, he, was, he was frustrated. He goes, look, I hear you talking about the 80-20 rule. Just tell me the 20 things that are most important. Because I want to start working on those now. I, I, I agree with what you're saying. I don't want to waste my time. I don't have the time to waste. I've got family. I've got responsibilities. I've got my business. I've got my employees. Just tell me what the 20 things are. Well, here's the challenge. That's a, a conceptual idea, all right? Uh, that's a, a metaphor. It's a big picture to help you uh, as you go across. Uh, the reason why I can't just identify the 20 things, wouldn't that be uh, that simple? And I could maybe identify 80 things that don't matter. Uh, the reason why we all go through our individual journey, I don't know what you know. <laughs> I don't know what you don't know. I don't know how much you prioritize the information uh, that uh, you have uh, learned and how you're applying it, right? So the 80-20, which 20 uh, do you need to keep and which 80 do you need to maybe uh, let go of? It's a very individual thing, right? So uh, that's what my one-on-one -on -one coaching is for. Everybody goes through individual journeys. I have a lot of driven, ambitious men. Uh, they've got their lives together. It's just that they want to master uh, this fitness. Uh, maybe they work out in a commercial gym. Maybe they work out at home. Uh, maybe they used to work out a long time ago, and now their life is organized. They got away from it, and now they're ready to get back in it. Uh, maybe uh, they took over their business and family earlier in life, and now they have the time, and maybe they've been in it for two years. So uh, a lot of different scenarios, and this really applies. Right? So again, uh, which... 80 you need to kind of put less emphasis on and which 20 you really need to bear down and focus on, put the uh, vast majority of your willpower, focus, energy, and time. It's going to be different for everybody and that's what my one-on-one -on -one coaching is all about. I get driven, ambitious men. They, they're successful, <laughs> right? They know how to win and they want to win in this area and they're willing to hire the best to make it happen sooner rather than later.